Hey everyone, it's me, Rylan. It is February 1st, 2019 at 2.38 p.m. Um, and first of all, I just wanted to say hello to all of my new friends. Um, I've been getting a lot of new subscribers in the past like couple weeks and I just wanted to say hi to all my new friends. Um, yeah, thanks for joining me on my channel. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, today I wanted to just give um, give an acting update or rather just like talk about acting a little bit. Um, so for those of you that are familiar with my channel or not, whatever, um, I am a professional actor and I live in New York City. Um, and I identify as transgender, specifically I identify as gender fluid. Um, and the way that that affects my acting career is I um, play and I'm, or rather, <laughs> I play, I don't know why I was like, I'm playing. Um, I meant to put the emphasis on I play or I am willing to play um, both male and female roles. Um, I do have management, I have professional management, um, so the roles that I get sent out on are for both male and female roles and also transgender or non-binary characters. Um, so, like, just, like, shout out, not that they're watching this, but just, like, shout out to my management for being absolutely incredible and, um, you know, getting me a lot of auditions for not only trans characters, but also just like cis characters and allowing me to auditions to like just play human beings. Um, my main thing as an actor is I don't look at characters as gender. I look at playing characters as just human beings because that's what we are. I don't view people as gender. Um, I think we're all human and as an actor and an artist, I just want to display the human condition and I don't think what is in our pants should hinder me from what roles I do or do not get to play. Um, and I feel very fortunate that I have a management um, team that understands that and understands my trans identity and is able to... Um, like suss out and is able to put me out for roles that they think that like suit me as an actor um, based on whatever, you know, like my strengths or whatever. Um, so yeah, I, I just don't think, I, I really don't think roles should have a gender. That's my really big thing is like, I, I want to play anything because I, I just think People are fucking people. You know what I mean? Like, oh, that sounds so gross. <laughs> people are fucking people. I mean, we are. Let's be honest. Um, but you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I signed with my management back in August, um, like last year. So August 2018. And now it is February 1st um, of 2019. So I've been working with them for a hot minute. And I've been extremely fortunate. Um, hashtag blessed hate that I said that, ignore that, edit that out, but just kidding, I don't edit my videos because that's fake as shit, and you don't edit life, like, just, you know what I mean? Fuck that shit. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm very grateful to be with them, and I've been auditioning a lot, and the surprising thing is, y'all, like, who? Okay. I am all of my training... Like, I've been an actor for longer than I would like to say. No, I'm just kidding. Like, well, since high school, but I've been, like, professionally trained for, I don't know, a long time. I've been in the industry for a long enough time. Like, 15 years, 10, 15 years, some shit. A long time. And all of my training is in theater. And that's where my heart is. That's what I want to do. But, like, the percentages started going up of, like, a lot of my roles were going out in person for, like, television and movies. And then 
um, slowly but surely, a lot of them slash like all of them now are for voiceovers. Never thought my life would be um, doing vo voiceover auditions. Um, I was told in high school a lot that my voice was extremely annoying and um, I wasn't like bullied for it, but a lot of people just said like, Rylan, your voice is really annoying. Um, and I've heard that my voice is like really original. Um, but yeah, like now 100% of my auditions are for voiceover work, like for like big studio stuff. I'm not going to name drop because I'm not that guy like who gives a shit, but just like things, things that matter, companies that you've heard of and shit like that. Um, so I find that that's really interesting that that seems to be where my career is going. That's not to say like I just had an in-person audition yesterday for like an off-Broadway play. It's not to say that like there aren't avenues where I'm not going to be able to audition for TV or film, but it's like all of my auditions for the past like three months have been for voiceovers, um, which I just think is really interesting. And it actually is really cool actually because I got to audition for an audiobook. Um two weeks ago and it was six pages of an audiobook of a book that's been out for I don't know I think it came out in like 2000 and that was a really interesting experience um because I'd never done that before um because usually when I get pages for let's say let's say it's a new tv show that's coming out on Nickelodeon or something I'll get like the name of the character a synopsis and then I'll have to like read like the character and then I have to decide how do I want the character to sound? And like, I'll go off of that. But, but for an audio book, you know, like you have however many characters in this one, there are only two. And then like, you have how the characters sound, you have the narration depending on like what, um, like what person, like first person, second person, like whatever narrative it is. And this was in the first person dialogue, first person perspective. And then you have like the saids, like the he said, she said. So it was a really interesting experience to um, work on that as an actor. I was like, this, oy, huh. Um, but it is nice to be able to um, audition in sweatpants. Um, but beyond that, um, my biggest um, inspiration right now is Rami Malik, who you might um, be hearing like buzz about or be on, um, he might be on your radar right now because he, um, played Freddie Mercury in Bohemian Rhapsody in which like, I think it was like two weeks ago, he just won the Oscar for leading actor. Um, he's also the lead in Mr. Robot, which the final season will be coming out. I don't know. Sometime, sometime. Um, so he's like my acting inspiration right now, but yeah, that's kind of what's going on. Perhaps this is extraordinary boring. I don't know, but I just wanted to give an update of what's going on. Um, but the truth of the matter is this. So I've been acting for forever. I went to a really, really amazing and prestigious acting school going on all these auditions, I have great management and I'm not booking anything. So you're probably sitting here and you're like, oh my God, maybe you're like, oh my God, he's saying he's so good, but like, he's not on Law and Order. Like, what the fuck? Why doesn't he have his own TV show? He's, I, I didn't fucking see him on Grey's Anatomy. Well, the truth of the matter is, my friends, is that acting the industry is extremely hard to break into. You can be the most talented motherfucker in the world. And it like the truth of the matter is, is it takes time. It takes time. And my mantra that I'm working with, and currently the background on my phone that I made on a really cool app that I love called Spark Post. Hashtag download it. You get a 15% off code if you use the code RITE. I'm just kidding. You don't get a discount code. I'm not famous or anything. Um, but no, it's actually called Adobe Spark Post. And it's just like a cool 
app where you can like create shit. But my motto right now is I am not failed. My success is postponed. So that's what I'm telling myself. It's easy as an actor to compare yourself to everyone else. I can look at my friends um, and people that I've gone to school with. Um, I mean, nobody's like mega successful. Like I can't, I, like nobody's like a super fucking big star. And honestly, nobody's done anything like gigantic. Um, but like I know other people who seem to be getting a lot of work like consistently. And I'm just like, what are you doing? You know, like congratulations. Like another thing, another thing that I think is celebrate, don't hate because I'm not going to waste my energy like hating on someone on their successes because I firmly believe that like I'm on the right path. I'm doing what I need to. I've been trained. I'm trying. I'm going on auditions. I'm doing my thing. So it's like I'm not going to waste my energy hating someone on their success. I should be happy for them. You know what I mean? Um, but this industry is really hard. It's really hard to break into. And I just... I will tell you that the the fallacy, this myth of the overnight success is such a fucking bullshit lie. Like if we want to look at Rami Malek as a pure example, you might just be hearing his his name now. You might even have just heard his name when Mr. Rob, Robot came out. But he has been working for so many years and then people just started hearing his name when Mr. Robot came out. Or you might just be hearing his name now when Bohemian Rhapsody came out. When in reality, like, he's been working for years. And so, like, no matter what level of success I may or may not reach, I've been working as an actor and trying and studying and training for all of these years. And it's like these things take time and... For any of you aspiring actors that are watching this video, it takes a lot of dedication and love if you want to make it in this business. Success looks different to everybody. Maybe success to you is just simply paying your bills as an actor. You just want to do off-Broadway, pay your bills, live in New York, live in LA, and that's what you want to do. I'm just, I just named theater. Maybe you just want to be on TV. I have no idea. Maybe you just want to pay your bills. Maybe success for you is, is like stardom. I don't know. People, you know what I mean? I'm saying success looks different to everyone. But I will be honest and say it really does bother me when people say that they want to be an actor just for fame or they're like, I want to be the next Halle Berry. It doesn't work like that because... You're going to give up. You're literally going to give up as soon as things get tough. Like, if I didn't want this, if I didn't love this, I would have given up a very long time ago because of the rejection. I would have given up a very long time ago when I was up for something that would have been really fucking cool to book. Would have been fucking awesome to book. I got called in a lot had a great chance of getting it, and then I fucking didn't book it. If I didn't love what I was doing, you know what I mean? Throw in the towel, give up, go do something else. So I just want to say to those of us that are actors and artists and aspiring actors, you got to love what you're doing, man, because if you want to pursue a career in the arts you got to have a thick skin and like, I'm not kidding. The rejection is real. Look at what's happening to me. I have management. I'm going on auditions. I'm getting great feedback, but I haven't booked a fucking thing. I haven't booked a goddamn thing, but I love what I'm doing. I'm happy. I love what I'm doing. So this video is all over the place. Um, it's, it's all over the place. So there's not one specific message of this video, but I am just saying that acting is hard. There are no guarantees. It's interesting being a trans actor um, and just like live your best life. I guess just the end. Live your best life. Do what makes you happy. And 
whatever your dream is, if you want to be a marine biologist, fucking do it. Read your goddamn books. Buy your pens and pencils. Get a notebook. Get on your computer and study. It may not have the high-ass fucking rejection rate that acting does because, honestly, I cannot think of a career that has as high of a rejection rate. You guys, I just saw this statistic. (laughs) The unemployment rate of actors is 25%. Like, nobody's working. So, like, basically, if you're an actor, like, you're not going to work. So, like, have fun being poor is basically what's up. But I'm just saying... Live your best life and be happy because that's what I'm trying to do. Like, times are tough. I'm poor. Bread sandwiches are real. You know, trying to afford afford toilet paper is a monthly debacle and decision that I have to make. So that's my update, and I hope you guys are doing amazing. If you watch this whole fucking video, get yourself a cookie because you're awesome. All right. Bye, guys.